Vinny in the left set, Torrey on the right set, backs even up. Miller with the ball. Touchdown! Right into the end zone for the touchdown, and that is Lonzel Hill's first touchdown. Look at him, and he's happy in the end zone. That's his first touchdown here at Washington. He had 12 catches last year, his first one. The 1985 season, Lindsay, and he was wide open in the end zone in the corner. Take another look. We got a ground shot. And what protection Mr. Hugh Millen has. He ran a corner route, and Lonzel Mohill is all alone in the end zone for six points. Let's take a shot of Mr. Millen here. Look at the pass protection he has. He's sitting back there, good pass protection. Hands right in the pocket. Demise Williams is over on the side, number five. He just couldn't quite get it. And Bow Hill comes up with his... The rainbow is out over Lake Washington. We have a 10-10 tie with five minutes, eight seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Washington with the ball. Now third down and seven yards to go at the Oklahoma State eight-yard line. Newman the quarterback. Motion across. Lindsay, that was very close to being out of bounds. They had, they had Mo Hill lined up as a tight end left on the left side. It was a double tight end, and he was the tight end on the left side. Now, he's right to the left of the quarterback here. Off play action, he goes down and does a corner pattern. You only have to have one foot in. Let's catch it. His right foot was in. His right foot was in, and I, that's our judgment. Lonzel Mo Hill for a second touchdown. Good replay, Lindsay. I think our cameras are, did a real good job of catching this as Mo Hill's right foot was in bounds here. This is the toughest judgment call for any of the referees out there. Watch it. Down deep. Makes the catch. Sees right foot. It's there. It's in. He's had the football. Great. Well, Lonzo Hill on this play is covered by Carnell Lake, who really is an outside linebacker. Now he's going to get some, some help from the back. Lake has got the short zone. Lonzo Hill just feels the little area in between the, the linebacker and the corner and then makes a very athletic catch on the play. Good job. He's only 187 pounds. The number 29 
knocking in on Jones, on uh, Rod Jones, who's 6'4", 240. He had a good hit there. And they killed the clock. And he's got many opportunities here. Three more. Don James with all his timeouts remaining. 28 seconds on the clock. And perhaps the best field goal kicker in college football. The lob to hell! He made it look like he planned falling down. His daddy was a good one. J.D. Hill down at Arizona State. Who along with Chris Carter ranks at the very top of the wide receiver list. This is what you call a fadeaway. The defender, number 29, Brett Brogan does not come back and play the ball. And you see that Lonzel does. And another touchdown for Washington. And the play that set it up. Chandler, the junior. Sticks Hill beautifully down the sideline. Gordon was off him, and he had gone in there, except... We were told that Lonzel Hill, number one, is the big play guy for this Husky team, and that turned out to be the case, too, when he caught a ball for 46 yards and set up a five-yard touchdown pass. Well, I was watching him on Thursday, and Thursday's practice, they don't work out on Friday, and I was amazed how quick he is and how he seems to find the open seam all the time. They came out, I'm talking about Washington, they threw a fragment early to divert their attention, and then they came back for the big play to Lonzo, Lonzo later on. In the series of key games against the Packers, Redskins, and 49ers, the Saints saw big first-half leads disappear into tough last-second losses. In the final minutes, it was the Saints who overcame a tough Bills defense to rally for a dramatic come-from-behind victory. This is a 22-yard attempt by Andrew. Number 87, Lonzel Hill, and number 84, Eric Martin. He's throwing in the end zone for Hill. Martin on the quick pass. And that's where it is, that's where it goes, and that's a touchdown. Hill and Martin comprise one of the NFL's most dangerous duos of starting wide receivers. Each man perfectly complements the other, for both possess speed and strength, and an instinctive knack for going after the ball in difficult places. 